Hey there, today I'm going to show you how you can edit your own NPC in Minecraft Education Edition. Okie dokie, let's have a look. So, what we want to do is we want to put an NPC down first. And what we quite commonly see is people will go and get one. So to find an NPC, and sorry, an NPC stands for non-player character. We click E on our keyboard to open up the inventory. And then we are going to, not search, scroll down, Nathan, we're going to search. So we're going to go NPC up in our search bar. And there it is. We get this little spawn egg for an NPC and we place it in our hot bar. And we come down and this is what we see all the time is people start trying to right click and to try and place that NPC down, but it doesn't work. The reason for that is you need to be in a mode called world builder. So to do that, we go enter and then we go forward slash WB, which stands for world builder. And we hit enter and then things start to change. So for instance, I can now right click and my NPC appears. So from here, what I can do is I can right click again and a couple of things open up. I can change the name of my NPC now. So I might give him my name. I can also give my NPC here some dialogue. So I might come in and, um, you know, I have touch and dialogue, so on and so forth, whatever it is that the message that I'm trying to portray. I can also change what my NPC looks like. So we have a several different appearances here. So I can flip them around and he will change the way he looks. We also have this section here called advanced settings. So in here, we can add a URL or a command. So if we look at a URL first, so for example, if you want the NPC to direct the player to a, a website or a resource, it might be, because it might just link to your OneDrive. We, we'll, you know, if I just go, okay, and then you can change the way that, that looks like, what that looks, you can leave it as learn more, or you might change it to click here, or it gets totally up to you, and you can keep adding more as you go. The other one is to add commands. Now, you will need to learn a little bit more about um, how commands work, but we can use commands to have NPCs to do particular things. So just as an example, then this is the give command. So give at, you know, all players, uh, you know, a barrier. Okay, and you have a couple of choices here. You can either turn it on so that it's like a button where you need to give it a name. So they're gonna click on the screen to receive it. You can turn it on. So basically what that means is as they enter, they receive it or either they'll receive it when they exit. So either one has to be on or off. In this case, I'm gonna do it as a button. And then I might just write um, you know, area and that will work just fine. So what I can do now is let's go back. Now, instead of normally to test out your NPC, I'm gonna show you how actually I used to do it until I realized you could do it differently. Seems really, really silly was that you had to you know, right click on him and then the whole dialogue, the experience would open. So you always found yourself going, you know, enter forward slash WB and then clicking and there we go. And that's what it's meant to look like. However, if you're still making changes, if you're still checking that everything is working okay, as you can stay here, you just need to click on dialogue and it just, that's the experience. Okay, so if I click learn more, there we go. Then my link has worked. Or if I click on barrier, you'll notice um, down the bottom on my hot bar, I've been given a barrier block, okay? Because the NPC has given it to me. Now, as I did just show before, when you're finished with your NPC, do remember to hit enter, okay? And go forward slash WB again, and then you are back to normal. So I can walk up to my NPC and there we are ready to go, everything's there. I've even got my immersive reader tool that'll open up that text and read that aloud and give me all of those great options for students that need um, immersive reader. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.